A week since that shooting, APD offered its explanation today for how officers responded to the protest and why they did not intervene before shots were fired. Here's News 13's Chris McKee. Got at least a dozen 911 calls, had undercover officers nearby, and they even had a live video feed of the protest at the Onyante statue. But they didn't think things were getting violent, according to what they said today, and APD didn't want to escalate the situation either. It seems that at, at a certain point, without any warning, it becomes the, the hostility of the crowd becomes towards law enforcement. And that's what we're trying to prevent, and that, that's some of the stories we've seen nationwide. <laughs> You see police body camera video there of officers first interactions with the crowd of about 100 people after the shooting. APD says officers got to the victim within about three minutes of shots being fired. Now, two teams responded. The first team was in an armored car video here showing them going to the shooting victim, also cuffling, cuffing those heavily armed New Mexico Civil Guard members. Second team of officers, those were the officers in riot gear. APD says this video shows as riot officers pushed protesters away from the scene, at least one person tried to grab an officer's wooden baton, and that's why officers see here throughout smoke canisters. APD said it only wanted to send officers in when there was either a threat to life or widespread property damage. That statute is not worth the relations to the community for the years to come. And it, that statute had been spray painted and vandalized uh, the days previously. Uh, and I, I just, we were not ready to make a commitment to the statue itself being the tipping point where we would go into conflict with a crowd of peaceful protesters because of a few agitators. Also said today that the department did not use tear gas at the rally. They said it was just smoke that was used. They also did say that officers fired a total of seven sponge rounds. You see in the photo here behind me, they fired those at the crowd, dis dispersing people during that protest. Back to you. All right, thank you, Chris. APD also acknowledged today officers did not talk to any witnesses on the scene after that shooting. Instead, they say they were focused on dispersing that crowd.